I'm Yolanda Vasquez and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now in the studio is Annette March Greer. She is a founder and president of Roberta's House Family Grief Support Center. Annette, it's a pleasure to have you here in our studio. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. So let's talk a little bit more about the mission of Roberta's House. Mm -hmm. You said it was started back in 2007. Uh, clearly, there was a need in the community there in Baltimore City. Tell me about that. Yes, it was. Well, um, I was born and raised from a family funeral service, March Funeral Homes, mm -hmm. and we service primarily the African-American community in Baltimore City, and there was a great need for grief education and support. And there was appeal to help children who were being overlooked and unaddressed. Mm -hmm. So Roberta's House provides um, a safe place and the support for children and families who've experienced the death of a loved one. Mm -hmm. And we do that through support groups. We do it through our camp. Uh, we have a Camp Aaron. Mm -hmm. We do it through volunteer trainings and a lot of outreach into the community. Why is that so critically important? You know. Um We've all experienced the loss of a loved one, or if you haven't, you will. Mm -hmm. uh, and some people don't do the grief counseling or get that support that they need, but it is important. Why it is that? It is so important because, of course, grief ha is, has a lot of um, emotions n connected to it and pain and sorrowfulness. And, and, under, and un most oftentimes, people turn that pain inward mm -hmm. and are very isolated and can lead to depression and many other mental health illnesses but grief is also an opportunity for growth and oftentimes we've learned how to suppress our feelings and children are overlooked and not explained or talked to when a death occurs and parents don't know how to explain this to a child and there's a risk of children growing up with misbeliefs feeling guilt about being the blame for the death of mom or a sibling. And if we don't correct that early, mm -hmm. it can lead to adult problems later on. Good answer. Very good answer. That's why it's so important. It's so important. Now you're looking for some partnerships in the Prince George's yes, County area, right? Yes. So we've been in Baltimore now for seven years and really growing uh, fast and getting a lot of support. And we recognize that Prince George's County deals with a lot of the social ills that Baltimore does sure. as far as homicide and accident deaths and premature deaths and so now we've been given grants to expand to uh, Prince George's County and we're looking for partners partners that we can have space in order to conduct our programs for children and families and even some of the schools we are open to to work with excellent you put the plea out there so let's talk about this uh, camp that's coming up for the summer right yes. Camp Aaron Baltimore Camp Aaron Baltimore and it's been uh, supported and funded by the Moyer Foundation Jamie Moyer who was a Pittsburgh baseball player um, and has now 40 camps nationwide in every major uh, baseball league city. Okay. Well, Baltimore also has one, but we reach as far as D.C., Virginia, um, in recruiting children for this camp. It's a free camp. When will it take place? August 12th through the 13th. It's a weekend 12, adventure 13 camp. 12, 13th and 14th? Yes, I'm That's sorry. Right. That's 12 okay. through the 14th. It's North a weekend Bay. at North Bay, mm -hmm. and it's for ages 6 to 17 years of age. Excellent. At, yes. What, was, what are some of the things the kids will be doing? Well, well, in the morning hours, we work on our grief mm -hmm. and, and helping the children to understand their grief and loss. And then the afternoon is full of adventure and play uh -huh. with zip lines and swimming and rock climbing and hiking. And it's just a world of fun. And kids really are able to identify and connect with other kids who've been through similar experiences. And if people want to find out more information, where can they go? Yes, they can visit our website at robertashouse.org and register online or call our number at 4 10 235 Annette, it was a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you for your time. It was an honor. Thank you. We appreciate it. And that'll do it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Yolanda Vasquez. Thanks for watching, everybody.